Hi, for today's turn on, this little olive green box from eBay, from my favorite seller in Germany, one of my favorite sellers at least. It was 12 euros and it is a mysterious Soviet made green box, model number in Cyrillic letters BU2, big serial number here. Another type uh, number uh, written here on the back. So when I received it, it was uh, sealed all around with uh, silicone seal, and I had to pry open the cover, which is also secured by set screws. So it did a little bit of damage on the cover, but it is not a big deal. I can always uh, fill it with Bondo and uh, apply a new coat of paint if needed, but I do not think it will be really necessary. So, I do not know at all what it is for, but given the color, it might be a military vehicle or any uh, military appliance, but not uh, aircraft or uh, missile, at least. Uh, there is here uh, a pipe, probably to uh, vacuum the box, because it was uh, sealed. I had to drill a little hole because I was uh, expecting to, to it to be under vacuum and uh, prevent me from pulling the cover, which was indeed very hard, but only because it was glued with uh, a seal. So I managed finally to open it, and here is what we have inside. So quite unusual construction. And uh, experts in uh, Soviet equipment will immediately notice one first unusual thing. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it is the wires. They are not the regular color. Here are the regular uh, Soviet wires. More uh, pink with uh, Teflon uh, uh, coating around them and the teflon and the copper gives a pink color but here they are more orange so it seems they are using a different uh, insulator material interesting and uh, it is uh, made of several parts there are four modules here and this section with uh, mostly power transistors so i will undo the four screws real quick at least the screws here were not tight. So you can see the box has four legs to mount it onto some kind of surface, a wall in a vehicle or something like this. Not sure. And it is not necessary to completely pointless to try to research this Cyrillic letter in uh, Google because it is too short and it will do, give you a lot of results for totally irrelevant. So what do we have in here? You can see still some bits of the seal. You can see how the plug here uh, is attached with just four screws and there is a o-ring behind it and it is all. It is a almost space grade plug, except that the contacts are silver, they are not gold. So here we have these four modules, you can see three of this model, well at least the mounting frame, it is a, a quite unusual, first time I see it in a Soviet equipment, this kind of assembly, a plastic frame with pins to do terminals and allow a point-to-point -point wiring of the components. This one, you can see, the holes for the transistors are unpopulated, but they did use the same mounting frame. So each time, here we have four transistors. These ones are quite nice uh, golden case, not these ones. Diodes, resistors, capacitors, as always. On this broad module, we have what seems to be a toroidal, yes, transformer, potted, 
more transistors and uh, sealed capacitors. And here we have four power transistors. Also uh, diodes in the metal can. And these black things are very nice precision resistors. At 5% uh, 1 watt. Okay, on, here on the transistors you can see uh, the manufacturer logo, the model number P213A, and the date code of uh, 1984, with also probably a military approval stamp and uh, probably quality control drops of paint here. One thing. One thing, they did not uh, use uh, the regular red paint on the solder joints for uh, quality control. Uh, here you have actually green paint, oops, focus, but not uh, elsewhere. Quite interesting. And uh, these modules are just secured with screws. And the wire is going to the connector. So I have absolutely no clue of what it does and what it is for. Totally mysterious device. Uh, well, you can see here uh, a doctor coming from the plug, so it is probably a power supply filtering, this doctor. But apart from this, no idea what it does. Probably some kind of... Uh, Amplifiers, given the transistors, not sure. Maybe power supply regulation, this one, this board here. We have four diodes, so it might be for rectification. We have precision resistors, but we have no real big capacitors, so I do not know. Quite interesting. So this was a nice uh, surprise item because I had to crack it open really to discover the contents. I will uh, now put it in storage here so you can see the little bit of damage I made. Because in fact I did use a screwdriver, I should have used something uh, longer as a blade for uh, plaster or something like this. Maybe it should have allowed me to... Uh, do less damage, but I can always fill the holes here and repaint the cover anyways. So, interesting little thing, and this one was 12 euros. I will try also to clean the marker here because it is quite ugly. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.